This is the Cavern of Alice, one of four large particle physics experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at the CERN laboratory on the border of France and Switzerland. Alice is a result of three decades of work by 2,000 of scientists, engineers, technicians, and students. We studied the properties of hot nuclear matter, like the one that existed in the early universe, just through millions of a second after the Big Bang. Such conditions are reproduced at CERN by colliding head-on lead nuclei accelerated to relativistic energies by the Large Hadron Collider. The resulting microscopic droplets of the very hot and dense nuclear matter instantly evaporate in a burst of elementary particles. Alice sensors record these particles. Recently, we completed a significant upgrade and installed three new detectors, including FIT, the fast interaction trigger detector. LHC produces 40 million collisions per second. FIT is so fast, it can record and process every event, monitor LHC beams and background radiation, and trigger readings for slower detectors. On the physics side, FIT provides information on the collision geometry by deducing the plane on which the interaction took place and its centrality, which means was the collision head-on, way of center, or something in between. To be sufficiently fast, large, and to record particles up to 19 meters away from the interaction point, FIT uses three sub-detectors arranged in five separate arrays and placed in four groups along the LHC beam pipe on both sides of the ALICE setup. We are now in the heart of Alice, 50 meters underground. The interaction point when the collisions occur is just three meters behind that black anodized aluminum structure that we call FIT FV0 detector. The active element of this detector is a four centimeter thick segmented plastic ring. Charged particles traversing that ring emit flashes of light. This light is then transmitted via optic fibers to light sensors located at the perimeter of the disk. From these signals, we deduce where, when, and how many particles cross the detector. FIT also helps identify particles by measuring their time of flight. To do that, FIT measures the collision time with the accuracy of a few trillions of a second. While plastic detectors are affordable, they are not that fast. We need expensive and therefore smaller FIT FT0 Cherenkov arrays. One of these arrays is here behind this protective cone uh, that prevents uh, damage to the uh, beam pipe. Cherenkov light is emitted only by particles traveling faster than the speed of light. Moving faster than light in a vacuum is not possible, but moving faster than light in a quartz crystal is possible. Finally, FIT continuously informs the LHC team about the number of delivered collisions. For that reason, FIT is the first ALICE detector to be turned on and the last to be turned off during the data-taking period. For that reason, I can safely say, no FIT, no ALICE.